This is called Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and this is my Stone Cold Lock of the Century. All week. The Steelers are facing the Broncos this week, all because of lawless punks like Vontez Perfect playing whack-a-mole with Antonio Brown's head. Goons and assassins like Perfect shatter the rules of decency and in doing so, make this game very bearable to watch. Now I'm forced to snooze through two competent teams completing most of their passes and not resorting to mindless thuggery. And that's boring! Meanwhile, Denver's starting Peyton Manning, even though he's allegedly ordered some humongous growth hormones. So what? How you think I got these two whiskered anacondas hanging from my shoulders? I had to work so I could earn the money to pay for HGH so I could <laughs> feed the pythons. <laughs> I also apply an all herbal bee pollen cream to my dong to add girth. Not that I need it. <laughs> I don't, so shut up. I don't believe Manning would do HGH. Look, I know Peyton Manning would do just about anything to win, except actually win. I know what you're saying. Say, Carl, look at the top of Manning's dome. It's the size of a turnpike toll booth covered in skin. It's like he's got a Pope hat on his brain inside his skull. Dude's head is the world's most boring totem pole. Like... Imagine Ridley Scott's alien's head turned on its head, but it's white and instead of spitting acid, it's shouting Omaha. Look, I know the Steelers ain't got Brown or Roethlisberger, but unless they invent a magic pill that can mutate the marinara sauce stain on Peyton Manning's upside down Florida of a forehead into an arm that can throw a spiral further than four to six yards, the Pittsburgh Steelers are Carl's Stone Cold Lock of the Century. century.